A film programmer selects the films that will be screened for your community cinema, festival or special screening. This can be an individual or a group or even involve your audience. In this video, we're going to go through five top tips to help you program films confidently and creatively. Tip one, watch a wide variety of cinema and connect with screen industry events to access more films. It's important that as a programmer, you see a wide spectrum of cinema to help create a vibrant film programme. As well as accessing films at your local cinema and films from home, connect with screen industry events where you can access previews of a diverse range of films. These include ICO screening days. These take place in different regions of the UK across the year. Cinema for All Community Cinema Conference takes place annually in Sheffield. Film festivals. These can be local, national or international. There are festivals for specific genres and film formats, so there is always something exciting to discover. Slate Days. A two-day event in London and online to hear about upcoming films from independent distributors and networking opportunities. These are all great ways to not only connect with upcoming films, but also to meet other exhibitors and most importantly, a way to experience potential films for your programme alongside a live audience. You can apply for a bursary from your local BFI Film Hub to attend these events as they help develop your professional skills in cinema exhibition. Tip two, familiarise yourself with where to get your film licences. To screen films legally, you must always get a license for the films you want to show. The most common place to get a film license from is the film's distributor, also known as the rights holder. It can sometimes feel a bit like an investigation to find a film license for your screening. To help make the process of getting a film license easier, create a list of distributors, along with helpful information such as the types of genres and films they represent and the prices that they charge. To find distributors, you can contact Cinema for All for help in finding a specific license holder, use Cinema for All's Distributors Fast Track Guide, look in festival and event brochures for particular films that have interested you, browse the Independent Cinema Officers website where you will find an A to Z of UK distributors. When you've been programming for a little while, you will find you start to build a knowledge of which distributor is likely to have the film license for certain films. Tip three, curating your program. Being a passionate cinema fan is helpful when it comes to programming, but there are further tools that can help you turn a list of films into a curated program. These include a programmer's calendar. This is a place for you to list any special or noteworthy dates and events. These can be international, national or local. For example, these can be important markers in the calendar, such as Pride, Black History Month and International Women's Day, as well as local events like a food festival or annual celebrations. You can create your own or use Cinema for All's Film Programmer's Calendar for some inspiration. Ask yourself questions. For example, why do I think this film works in the programme at our cinema? What audiences might be interested in the film? Should I collaborate with other groups or individuals or invite the community to take part? Tip four, connecting your audience with your programme. There are many different things that could attract an audience to come and see a film with you, including reviews, trailers, or even the discounts or offers that you have. Films at their core are stories to be shared. And this is the way many of us connect with a film. Keep this in mind with your marketing. Be creative with your marketing. Promoting tickets is important, but remember it's the film and the experience that we're more likely to engage with. Could you do a countdown to your screening on social media, sharing an interesting fact or image of the film? Could you run a competition or a quiz that involves the theme of the film. For example, a photo competition for a film that features photography. Spotlight your facilities. These can be anything from the delicious snacks to important access information about your space. Think about your screening space or venue. 
Are there ways you can make it exciting or welcoming? You could post photos of the space to help share what people can expect when they visit you. Tip five, making your screening special. Certain cinema going experiences stay with us as fond memories long after the projector light has dimmed. Let your imagination and your love for cinema grow from the screen by creating a special event around your program. You can go all out and bring the film into the room with immersive cinema elements. This could be everything from fancy dress, themed refreshments, to transforming the space to mimic scenes from the film. Invite a special guest for a Q&A. This could be the cast and the crew from the film or an expert in the film's themes. Run a party or event after the film themed around the decade or genre. Host a post-film discussion. Enjoy some refreshments and delve into the film's topics together. Be mindful of your time when thinking about adding a special extra element to your programme and think about what film this type of activity could enhance and when it might have the biggest impact. Those are our top five tips for a programmer's toolkit. Of course, there is always more to learn and discover, but we hope these tips can help you navigate your next film programme with confidence and enthusiasm. Best of luck with your programme and get in touch with Cinema For All if you'd like any further advice on any aspect of running your community cinema. We will leave links for all the events and resources mentioned in this video in the description below. Happy programming!